Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can project some curves on a surface. So let's open a new model. I'm going to go with metric architectural template or you can go with default metric. Uh, I would like to type UN for units under length. I would like to change this to meters, three decimal places. And uh, then I'm going to open Dynamo, manage Dynamo. I want to open a loft uh, surface that we created before. So we created this surface before, which is uh, a loft surface. And I will put the link in the video description on how to create this surface. Now, what I'm interested in is how to project some curves onto this surface, right? So let's see about the dimensions here. Let's say I want to consider uh, one fourth of the uh, width and height to be 5, so it's going to add up to 20 meters in total. I will keep height on 8 meters. First, I just want to create a rectangle just to know where uh, our curves are going to be. It's going to be on a horizontal surface, so I'm going to assign XY plane to the plane and I want to assign 20, so I want to type and go with 20. Let's say we have decided that it's not going to be uh, more than 20 meters and I want to uh, move this by half of that 20 which is 10 so I can go with uh, 8 divided by 2 which means I want to move this geometry by half of that 20 meters on the x and on the y direction I can hide this one so uh, basically this is where our curves are going to be, this is giving me uh, the whole perimeter of the project on the ground. Okay, so uh, next thing I want to do is that I want to create a, a surface out of this rectangle. It's a curve, so I can just patch it. I want to go with patch by patch here. Okay, now let me just hide this loft surface for some uh, for now. Uh, I can also hide those uh, curves that we use to create the love, but I'll keep it for now. First, I want to create some objects here, okay, on the uh, horizontal plane. So, I have a surface here. Whenever we have a surface, we can use the menus under Geometry, Surface, as Surface. And I want to go with Get Point on a Surface. So I want to go with point at parameter, surface goes to surface. Uh, let's say maybe to the U and Vs of this surface, I want to assign a sequence. Okay. And uh, let's say I want to uh, assign this to both U and V. Uh, and because I have not assigned any values, they're going uh, all the way outside, right? So U and Vs should be numbers between 0 and 1. So maybe to the step size, I can assign uh, either a number or maybe I can go with the number slider so we can change it later if we want. Let's say maybe I want to go with um, a number between 0 0.05 and 1. Whenever we work with U and Vs, that means one U is one uh, width and one V is one length. So we have to go with numbers between 0 and 1. Uh, let's go with, let's say, 0.1 for now. And I'm going to assign this to the step size, right? Now you see the points are over there. And uh, to the amount, uh, just to show you how it works, if I go with a lower number, it's not going to cover the whole surface, right? So if this is, for instance, 0 0.05, I want to say 1 over that number and then add 1. And if I assign this to the amount, I will guarantee that it's always going to cover the whole surface. Now, if I change the lacing to cross product here, I'm going to have a set of points here. Uh, I'll go with point 0.1. I'll keep it uh, just not that dense for now, so it's going to be uh, easier. So, so far here, I just created a grid. Right. Let me um, organize here a little bit. We had a loft surface. I created a horizontal surface on the ground. So I want to create a group, name it as uh, horizontal surface. And by that, I mean it's a surface which is on the ground. And here, by these four nodes, I created a grid. 
So I want to go with uh, grid here, grid of points. Now, using this grid of points, I want to create some maybe circles. I'll go with circle by center point radius. I'll connect point to center point. Now we have a number of circles. Okay, so uh, next thing I want to show you is that you can project any curve onto a surface. So I want to project these circles onto this surface. Okay, how about I unhide or turn the preview on for the loft surface? And I just want to right click go with project. And you see we have items to project one piece of geometry onto another one. I'll go with this one. So our curves go to curves. You know, circle is a curve. Basically anything which is under the curves menu, including circles, is kind of a curve in Dynamo. Uh, project direction is going to be the Z axis because it's just going up. So I want to uh, right click type Z. Z axis goes to direction. By default, it's probably Z. So even if you don't anything, it should be good. Base geometry is the loft surface. As soon as you do that, it's going to uh, kind of project all of those circles on the surface. Right, so this will give you a lot of possibilities in surface design. Now, let's say maybe instead of circles, I had polygons. I'm going to right click, type polygon. The one which says regular polygon inscribed within a circle. I want to connect this to this. I can hide my circles. And let's say maybe I want to assign number four to the number of sides so they're squares. Right, now this time, Instead of the uh, circles, I want to assign the polygons to the curve. Right now, you see we have all those items over there. So how about I group these items as the uh, curve, the curve which is going to be um, projected. Maybe I can put to be projected here. Okay. Uh, so, so far we have our loft surface, we had a horizontal surface, which is the rectangle, I can actually hide it. We got a set of points, a grid of points on the rectangle, which is the horizontal surface. We got polygons and we projected them on the loft surface, that's the whole thing, right? Now let me work here a little bit, I can create a group out of these uh, two nodes. And I want to say these are projected curves on the surface. And they could be projected on any kind of surface. Now that we have a, a set of curves here, we can actually just uh, extrude them just to see how it works. We can go with uh, extrude, not as solid, just uh, regularly. So I want to extrude them up so the direction is going to be the Z axis. Uh, maybe by, I'm saying uh, 0.3 maybe, which is 30 centimeters or so, that's going to be the thickness. So I'm going to uh, extrude these curves, right? Now, if I hide the loft surface, um, basically you see that they're kind of extruded. And then I want to thicken them. So these are now surfaces. We converted the curves into surfaces. Now I can thicken surface uh, to basically make a solid out of it. I will assign the same 30 centimeters to thickness, surface to surface. And now we have one group of solids here. Okay, uh, and actually I would suggest that, uh, see there is, we don't see the perimeter on this side. I actually want to see that perimeter. So I want to uh, basically uh, also get the perimeters of the loft surface. Okay, so uh, let me group these items. I want to create a group and I want to say these are my solids out of projected curves. Right, so that's what happened so far. Uh, and the next thing, and maybe the last thing here that I want to do is that I want to get the perimeters of the loft surface, right? Because now we don't see uh, the end 
uh, curves. So I want to right click, type perimeter, and uh, see this one, it accepts surfaces as inputs and gives us curves as out, uh, output. This is what I'm looking for, surface goes to surface, and now I have uh, basically the output uh, curves. And I'm thinking uh, I can actually uh, extrude and thicken them as well. So one thing I can do is that uh, I can maybe uh, keep these curves here along with my projected curves, right? I want to make a list out of the two and I want to connect the curves, the projected ones and the perimeter curves over there, right? And then I want to connect this list to extrude and thicken. So in addition to the curves that I have on the surface right now, it's going to select the perimeter uh, curves and extrude and thicken them too. So this is our final product in this project, which is solids out of projected curves and the perimeter curves. Uh, see what we have here. We have a few lists inside the list. So finally, I just want to maybe uh, flatten them so I can import them into Revit. I'm gonna right click, go with flatten list. Solid goes to lists. Now it's only one list. Okay, so I can right click, go with import by geometries. So whenever you have more than one item, you wanna import them as one single item to Revit, we'll go with by geometries, plural. I would like to change this to manual and assign this and then run. And I want to save the Dynamo file, close it. And in Revit, we see the whole object here as one single uh, solid. So we can actually also change the size because in Revit 2022, for some reason, the objects are imported in feet. I need to go to edit type, assign the conversion rate here, and it's going to be in the right size, right location. Okay, so that's the whole object here. And uh, I could have also imported the loft surface itself. So uh, it would have been one surface and one solid. And in order to assign materials, you can go to object styles, imported objects, Maybe this is um, kind of a wood or something, so I can change this to wood. And I want to make sure that in graphics, they also have a color. Okay, feel free to turn on shadows. And uh, that's what we have here. Uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to uh, create a Voronoi uh, curves and project them on the solid. Uh, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Take care.